is most of the 25 officers. George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. We are at VMworld 2013. Rejoining me on the whiteboard is Rob Cummings, Vice President of Marketing at Tejal. How are you doing, Rob? I'm well. How are you, sir? Doing good. Awesome. So, uh, you know, one of the things I'm hearing a lot uh, as we kind of talk to people at the show is dedupe and, and when to use it, where to use it, mm -hmm. and, and how can it help. And I know you guys got an interesting take on that, so why don't you walk us through it? Yeah, actually, dedupe's been a big thing in the storage market for a long, long time, especially in backup, in archive, where you're taking daily backups and things like that. It's a lot of redundant data, so reducing that capacity footprint has made a lot of sense for a long time, but it's been kind of a, a almost a taboo word in production, kind of high performance, um, low latency environments. And that's what we do. We actually turn the dedupe model upside down and actually use it as a performance boost as opposed to just a capacity reduction. And the way we do that is we put dedupe way up front in the, uh, the data path. Okay. So what Tejal builds is a, a hybrid storage array that combines um, RAM, in solid state as a big cache in the front end of the storage system. And then we use capacity, high capacity disk in the back end to resolve dollars per gigabyte. Mm -hmm. And like I said, people have been resolving dollars per gigabyte on disk for a long time. Right. But what we do is we do it way up front in the data path and actually take SSD that let's say I've got, oh, let's say two terabytes of flash mm -hmm. in the, uh, the system physically. If I'm getting a five to one reduction ratio, which is pretty typical for what we do, okay. the host thinks I've got 10 terabytes of flash. Right, so well, and, and dollar values are, are you know more expensive up here, right? So that, that right. expansion is worth it, right? Exactly, so yeah. this, this is be, depending on the technology, depending on your data reduction rates, things like that, this is five to 10 times ex more expensive than this right. on a dollars per gigabyte basis. Sure. So if we can help resolve that with deduplication, and we actually do compression as well mm -hmm. up front, we help resolve this, and then we actually do it down here too. So something that you know, raw might cost, let's say 50 cents a gig, I can get down to a dime. Right. So it just drops the dollars per gigabyte. But the really powerful piece of what we're doing is increasing this, the effective size of this flash. And when we do that, and we use it as a cache, it boosts the cache hit ratio so you can get more and more sure. data in that cache, so your hosts are actually performing on average five to seven times faster than they would without this dedupe up front. So Rob, one of my concerns would be, I, I think if I was a, a user and didn't know you, um, but <laughs> if, if I was a user, I'd be like, well, man, I don't know if I want to dedupe my SSDs, isn't that going to hurt performance? But I know from experience working with you, you guys say it actually helps performance. Can you explain that right. to them? Right. So, what we do is we've got a, a patented technology called MASS, Metadata Accelerated Storage Systems. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we take a lot of the heavy lifting in dedupe and compression, um, RAID, snapshot pointers, things like that, and pull all that overhead work out of the data path and do it off on the side over here. Okay. So it gets all that traffic that happens off to the side, allows this to perform extremely fast. Okay. So for example, in deduplication, whenever I get a write into the array, there's for every one I.O. that's happening here, there's seven I.O.s that are happening here. So if I natively did that within the system on disk, that would slow the system down. And sure. that's why dedupe has always been relegated to backup and archive and low performing um, file systems. Mm -hmm. Now we're look, you know, we, we do really well in virtual desktop virtual servers, database environments where you've got a redo log or an index file, right. that all stays up here in the highest performance area of the system. And I would assume because we're deduplicating, uh, aren't you also able to sort of increase the endurance of SSD because we're eliminating right. writes? I'm writing that less, much less data to the SSD. So on paper, this may have a, f we use enterprise class MLC media, mm -hmm. which has got on average say a five year cycle if you look at the um, average number of writes. Mm -hmm. If I'm doing a 5x reduction on that, I just took that to a 25 year endurance cycle, which is obviously way longer than the average service life of a disk array. Okay, so, so what I'm hearing is you've taken uh, dedupe technology and used your mass uh, kind of IP Correct. and allowed it to uh, get you know regular normal performance that you would expect out of this system, but get all the capacity benefits as well, right? Right, right. So, for years and years, we've always seen that dollars per gigabyte 
and dollars per IOP have been at tension with each other. Right. Right. Is that you got to give or take one or the other. Sure. We're actually helping both of those right now, so we balance out that tension between capacity and performance. Okay. And what's the net result of this? To you know, obviously we're at VMworld right now. So, what does this to mean to the average VMware administrator? How does this change his life? Right. So let's take let's take an average. I'll just erase this word up here with my fingers. That looks good. You got a physical server, and you may carve that up into 10 virtual machines. Mm -hmm. If those have all got the same Windows image that they're running, mm -hmm. we'll take that down to a single instance and store that in the high performance area of the system. So you get extremely high performance. Actually, we're just at the show here, we're announcing up to 360,000 IOPS. Wow. But at disk level pricing. So we resolve, again, we resolve that. So super fast performance, low latency, at a rational cost per gigabyte. Okay, so basically performance that they can afford. Absolutely. Okay, Rob, thanks for joining us today. Hey, thanks, sir. Appreciate you being here. All right. I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. Thank you for joining us.